Hey guys, it's Rosalind from Rosalind Journey Through Crafting. How are you guys? Okay guys, what I decided to do was to get up this morning at 7 o'clock and start putting down, what do they call it? They call it a wall decor, but I call it the, the brick look. Um, so far, so good, but what I noticed is that I, I was putting them up the wrong way. And the reason why I say that is because I'm going to show you this paper here that came with it. Okay. So as you can see here, how they locked them in. I didn't do that. I just did it like this here. And I made quite a few mistakes. Right, guys? So the reason why I'm showing you guys this, so if you decide that you want to do this, just pay close attention to the instructions. And um, um, whatever you do, do not touch the sticky back because when you touch it, it's going to be hard as hell to get your fingers off of it. This thing really, really sticks, guys. Guys, and I purchased this from Amazon. I'm going to bring it up a little bit closer so if you guys are interested, you can um, order it. Yeah. Um, I think it came with. I'm not sure of the pieces. I would have to double check. But um, right now, I'm going to take you guys around what I did. And don't mind my messy kitchen because, as you see, I'm ripping things down, putting things up. I didn't like the back of the wall, so that's why I chose to put um, these, this the brick look up. And it came out pretty cool, but I'm going to show you guys where I made my mistake at. As you can see, it's not interlocking like it should. It's a little bit off. I mean, the only way you're going to notice it if you're right on top of it. So it is a little bit off. I, I can tell you that. Um, but if I had to do it again, I would do it totally different. I would know what I'm doing. Um, so I have this side to do here, which is, wow, I needed something on that wall, guys. Um, again, it's not interlocking like it should, right? Maybe if I would have cut it a little bit and did a little extra things to it, it would have came out perfect, but I'm okay with it. So hold on one minute, guys. Okay guys, so right now I'm on the other side of the wall and um, you'll see me um, measuring and cutting it to fit. Um, that tool you see in my hand right there, that's um, a tool I bought from Amazon. It works very well. Um, I can control it, it's in my hand. It's not too big and fumbling around. So yeah, so what I'm doing now is cutting it to fit it on the back side of the cabinet wall. Um, it was fairly easy to do this, I must say. I'm very proud of myself. Um, if I had to do it all over again, um, I would do it. And again, it's waterproof, it's soundproof, it's um, wipe and go. Um, and I think it la it's going to last a very long time. Again, I'm, repa I'm replacing what I had on my walls from I don't know if it was last Christmas or the Christmas before that it was placemats and later on in the video you'll see that um, but right now what you see me doing is I'm, I'm measuring and fitting it um, to fit this wall I believe I cut one too short and the other one is just right so that's what you see right there but like I was saying um, what I had up there before was placemats and guys, if you really want to and you don't want to spend a lot of money, what you can do is go to Dollar Tree, get yourself some placemats. I think I bought about 20 placemats or more. And I put them, I put them on the wall just like I'm doing now. Um, and my wall came out great. And it lasts. And all I had to do was spray some, 
some Dawn, a little bit of bleach, and just wipe it down. I was very content with that. But this year, I wanted to um, upgrade and do a little something different. Um, yeah, so, again, if you want to really do something, you don't want to spend a lot of money, um, go to um, Dollar Tree and get yourself some placemats, some nice placemats that you like, and just put them on the wall as a, back, as a, as a backdrop. I used... Um, I used um, stick pens to hang them on the wall. So again, if you don't want to um, spend too much money on doing a backdrop or um, wall decor, just get you some nice placemats and um, use some stick pens and put it on the wall. It worked for me and I'm pretty sure it'll work for you. So right now we're going to get back into the video. Um, <clears throat> I'm trying to do some measurements. Um, I think I was a little bit off, so that's what you guys see right here. I'm using my ruler. Um, when I first started, I didn't need my ruler. I just um, eyed it, but I decided to use my ruler. Okay, what you see me doing right here is I took the um, the plug outlet case off, and I made a like a template out of it. So that's what you see me doing. I'm cutting around it now. So when I finish with that, I will be putting that back on the wall with the casing. Um, yeah, so um, that was just an easier way for me to um, um, cut it out. Now, you, you, you probably have different ways you'll do it. Um, I found this to be much easier by making a template. And um, what I'm going to do when I finish, I use a magic mark. I wish I'd have used a pencil, but I didn't have one at the time. So what I'm going to do is take a little alcohol or a little Dawn and just um, erase the, 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 pen, the pen mark there. I'm sorry about my arm being um, so, so um, everywhere. I just, it was a limited amount of space to work in the kitchen because I have a very small kitchen and I wanted you guys to really get in a look into what I was doing so um, that's why my arm and everything is so close together So I really wanted to show you guys right here what I was doing, but unfortunately I'm working with my hands and I'm trying to control the camera and I didn't, you guys really didn't get a visual of it, but what I was trying to do was get it um, to fit into the outlet, you know, the proper way. And, um, but I think you will be seeing it in a little while, how I got it to actually fit. I took a little bit of maneuvering. Um, but I really wish you guys could have saw that move. Um, if you're going to do it, you know, just have somebody to help you. That way they can control the camera and you can do what you need to do without any interference. And please, whatever you do, be careful because that back is so sticky, guys. It's so sticky. I tried everything to hold it down while I was, um... You know peeling it off and I finally got something that wouldn't stick to it and that was the back of my scissors that's that's um made out of that anodized plastic so that worked for me so I know for now and I'll be using that one but yes yeah, just please be careful because your hands will stick to it and I'm telling you <laughs> it's just like a crazy glue I love the way they you know I didn't I I just love the way it's you know it it, it it, it heaved to the wall. I had no idea it was going to be like that. And please don't make a mistake because if you have to pull it up, hmm, you're going to have a hard time because when it lays down, it lays down. I think I'm in love with this stuff here. I was even thinking about it, putting a backdrop um, in my living room um, with this since it works so perfectly. And like I said before, 
if you're living in a tiny um, New York apartment and you know your neighbors can hear everything you say, you can get this and put it on your wall because it's a, a, a it's a it's a sound barrier. You know, meaning that it'll 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 um, take down the you know the sound. Um, you know, I guess if you're a DJ, you can put this stuff up all, all over your wall, and it'll um, you know control the sound. But getting back here, right here is where I made another mistake. So I had to cut a small little piece to put into that area, and it didn't come out bad. Again, me me um not in be me not being able to control the camera. And do this, you guys didn't get a good insight of what I had to do right there. So right here, I believe I'm working, still working on that same piece. Is that the same piece? No, that's the second piece. Okay, so there we go. See, it don't look bad, right? It looks cool, guys. It really looks cool. You got to be up and personal on it. And as you know, I, like I said, I did it by myself. So if I had another hand... Um, it would have been so much easier. So here, so right now, what I'm going to attempt to do school. is finish this um, up here. What I have to do is, um, yeah, I'm working. Um, measure them, size it, and um, slide them in. It's not a bad job, but oh my God, it looks so much better than it did. Um, as I told you guys before. I had these placemats. I bought these placemats from Dollar Tree and I wanted to change the look of my um, my kitchen. I think it was last year or maybe the year before that. So what I did was I put these up on the wall. And I just used stick, spin, stick pins to, to stick it all the way around. And it came, it, it was awesome. I was in love with it, right? And I'll do it again. And I also bought the, um, I had a whole set that one. They came with the towers and the um, the mittens and everything else. So if you decide that you don't want to spend this much money um, on changing your decor, you could go to Dollar Tree and get you about 20 of these and just stunt tack them on the wall. And I did that and it came out pretty cool. So you, you would do it like this all the way around and just cut them as needed. When you get over there, it's a good idea. This is the one I had up there, and this is what it looks like now. So I'm going to finish up here. I'm going to just let you guys um, watch me do one, and I hope my back is not to you guys, but most likely it will be. So first of all, let me, let me plug this in so the battery won't run out. So this is how it comes. It comes like this. This is like two together. Or so I believe I had maybe like twelve of these. Twelve or I think it was twelve. I'll double check that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to do it up like this, and then I'm going to come back and finish that one up. I'm going to cut it here. Just take your time. I'm doing it by myself. It's a one, it's a one man job or a one woman job, but you just have to be careful and take your time. I got so excited how cool it was coming out that I started making mistakes. And I didn't notice it until it was up. So how I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna take the whole back off. I was trying to do it, take it half of it off um, and stuff like that, but no, I think it's best. See the sticky back? Oh my God, let's be careful.
could have metal. The scores are made in the world, guys. I right? like really damaged this wall here. Um, I thought about painting, but this is faster. So I have scores right here because I made this for my coffee cups to hang on. And so I don't want to. I need to know exactly where my screws are, so that's why they're still in. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hopefully put a little hole here. That way I'll know where my screws go. Maybe I can find that same hole. This has been my tool today, guys. This is my 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 um, pancake flipper. And I use it for everything but that too. I use it as a screwdriver. All I'm doing is now is tucking it down in the grooves. I could cut it. But I don't think I'm going to cut it. So there you have it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back and fill this in and this in. So as you guys can see, it, it's just that simple. Right? It's just that simple and this is so cool. It looks so nice, so much better. Oh my God, so much better. And so I have these pieces from when I was doing this wool here. And I gotta show you guys the behind me. Um, and it came out so cool. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna try to save some pieces. I'm gonna try to do it like this. All right, that's what I'm gonna to do. I'm gonna tell you this. Even though it's going the opposite way, you, you really won't even notice, not like I said, unless you're in the kitchen and you're examining things, then you'll not notice. But other than that, you won't even notice it. So I'm going to turn the, the opposite way. This is how I'm going to say a whole sheet. Okay, let me see. Put it right on top of it. It's a little piece here, but you guys can't see that. And that's what I was telling you about. So then just stress that. There's my flip player. It's this one here to fill in. But it doesn't look that bad, my guy. So I'm going to find a small piece to put up here. I'll probably cut this in half and put it up here. And then I'm going to fill in this piece here. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I cut out this piece and I'm going to stick it in here right now. And I, I cut it out, I think, kind of perfect because it fits right in here. So that's all you're going to have to do is just take the backing off and stick it in here. Okay, so let's do that now. Let me see which way I want it. Do I want it up or down? Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Remember, 
try not to touch this back end. It's, kind of, it's going to be kind of hard, but. This thing is a soundproof for the walls too, because this stuff here. Yeah. Let's see, what is it made of? It's foam. It just say 3D wall panel. Foam. It's pearl. For some reason I thought it had something to do with PVC. It's heat resistant, waterproof. Anti-collision, easy installation, yeah, soundproof, and easy DIY. I know it was soundproof because it's kind of thick. I, I, I kind of figured that one out. That's cool. So guys, if you're living in New York apartments and you got those tiny little apartments where people can hear everything you you say and move, get you some of this and soundproof your walls. Because I'm telling you, I had a phone. I said this thing is so cool. It's so thick. Use this as a soundproof, and I didn't even notice that you could. I mean, I didn't even, I didn't um, read the directions. Like I told you, I have a problem with that, but I didn't read the directions, so I didn't even know it was soundproof. But yeah, this thing is soundproof, guys. Um, I just want to show you. It's pretty thick. You see that? It's pretty thick. So that's why it came to me that this thing could be soundproof. God, this is cool. Now this is really cool. So I have this little piece left, right? And as you can see, this piece up here, this empty space right here, I want to fill that in. I mean, it really doesn't bother me because my, my Vitamix and all of that from go there. But I'm just going to fill it in because I have this tiny small piece. is doing a living room and they want to make a, a, a um, like a, 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 a wall um, how can I say it like a wall decor or um, put this put 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 it up and then put their TV behind it this would be pretty cool because it comes in all colors so again if you want to put this down and then put your TV in back of it cool you can get you some brown ones or some red ones and um, mix them and 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 put it behind your TV stand. Your TV stand or behind your TV. They said you could put it behind your TV, your walls, your sofa, your bedroom, the baby's room. You can use it for your office. You can use it for your. Okay, so this one is finishing. I'm going to do that in there, and you guys will have to to um to to watch me do that. But I'll come back and show you the finish because this is done and i'm so proud of myself for doing it by myself because i was putting up some white brick 3d wall panel on the wall and as you can see in the background i'm almost finished but um while filming early i made some mistakes on the measurements and um how many come in the package so i want to correct that right now okay so it's called the white brick 3d wall panel and it's thicker wallpaper for living room, bedrooms, background, background walls, decorator, DIYs. Um, it's 10 in a pack. This one is white. It's 56.9 square feet. And it might not sound like a lot, but guys, it did my, my kitchen going all the way around. And I'm going to show you that. And um, I'm reading it off right here. So hold on one minute. So you get two, you get ten panels in there, and in the video you'll see the length of the panels. Okay, you will see that, and um, each one is 2.52 inches times 2.26 inches. That might not sound like a lot, but wow.
it's 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 great guys so I'm almost finished I just have a small part to do I ain't gonna show you guys that part because it's a hot mess over there but I did that background piece and you'll see that in the video so guys stay tuned because I'm gonna I'm gonna just finish this off and, and I'm gonna let you guys see the finished product Yes, ma'am. I'm ready for the holidays. I'm going to put some red in the background for Christmas. And this is so cool, guys. This thing is soundproof. And you could just wipe it. It's water resistant. Put a little, little dawn on there and get the grease off. And you're good to go. And it comes in quite a few different colors. I'm going to leave the description and um, description box. So if you guys are interested, you can check that out. It was purchased at Amazon. And, um, yeah, so we'll talk later. Bye-bye. All right now, so we are finished, guys. Look at here, look at here, look at here. Let me tell you guys something. I really, really, really like the way it came out. It looks so much better. Look at that. Look, and I made so many mistakes right there, and you don't even see that. Guys, check that out. I got my coffee mug set up there. My little background there. I am so proud of this here. It took me some time. But I'm going to tell you something. You know, I tell you guys I love cooking. And I love when you have a pretty kitchen. Okay, so as you can see, I don't know if you see my little man over there. But I'll take you back there in a little while. But, um, yeah, you see the background over there, how I put that together? Um, and I also did the side of the wall. I didn't show you guys as I did that. But, yeah, when you enter, I did the side of the walls on both sides. So, here, my little man, he's coming up. Oh, you can't. Yeah, right here. Do you see him? That was the, um, I cut him out of the, 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 the placemats. And... Actually, it's on the other side of the wall, too. So I just cut a couple of pieces of him out of the placemat. I, you know, I, like I said, he saved me uh, uh, two Christmases, you know, doing the whole wall. So I had to keep a piece of him up there. And he looks so cute up there. But, yeah, just look at that. Look, guys, it's, it looks so nice, guys. You got to see it up and personal. I made mistakes right there. You see right there, I had to put a little couple of pieces in between the wall. That's because I made a mistake there. Right there. Yeah, right there. But like I said, if you're not in my kitchen and you're not snooping, you won't even notice that. So if you come in my kitchen, don't snoop. Okay, guys? So let's push that right back over there. But on a serious note, guys, this came out fabulous. You know? Like I said, if you got a TV hanging, <laughs> put this in the background of it. It comes in all colors, and it will be fabulous. It will look really nice. So what I did was I put all my stuff back up, as you can see. Um, that coffee rack back there I made just for my kitchen, since I had so many coffee cups. So all I'm doing now is um, taking you guys around the kitchen and um, showing you um, the wall that's finished from um, for both sides, left and right, and um, you know how I little put my little canisters and I decorate my little kitchen real cute. Um, so it's two more days before Thanksgiving, and I wanted to give my kitchen the uplift, guys. And this is what I did. Um, so if you guys are thinking about doing something, you know, different, and you don't want to paint your walls, get yourself some of these um, 3D. Um, uh, backdrops uh, they're not they're not backdrops placement mat i mean not placement mats either but um these 3d wall decals just pick them up and just just do your wall up because this is really cool guys that's why it makes me think that i got a whole new kitchen <laughs> because it looks just that good i really wish you guys was here and i don't know if you guys see it but that's my stove top um um right here i made this for my stove and I love it. So, you know, I, I put it up there when I'm not using my stove. And it looks so nice up there. So if you guys are interested in one of those, just let me know. But yeah, this one is finished, guys. 
and I'm so glad you guys came with on on this journey with me. And I tell you what, guys, um, whatever you do, please enjoy your holidays. Be safe. Please continue to wear your mask. And always remember, I'm here for you. Have a good day.